Welcome back to our tech. Today we're going to review the Blacked PIR sensor switch. PIR sensors or passive infrared sensor switches are slowly becoming mainstream. They're automated switches that work by detecting body movement via infrared rays. Very simply, these are very useful devices to automate switching on and off lights in a room, for instance, or any other device. This particular product is made by Black India. They're a Mumbai-based company. Unlike any of the Chinese counterparts which build these kind of uh, equipment, this feels much heavier. The central dome, which you see, has all the sensors in it and it also has a small LED sensor that kind of, I'm sorry, an LED indicator that lets you know when it's on or functional. Once you detach the wall mount, you would see the wiring instructions. Quite simple, to be honest. As you can see, uh, this particular device has uh, two adjustments on it. One uh, for the time it needs the lights to stay on for and the other one is for luminosity. Brown and blue wires take in the live and neutral connection from your mains. The brown wire is simply the output. So that means if you want to connect a device that goes to the uh, red wire along with a neutral line which is directly connected to the unit. The instructions are pretty clear. Uh, the device can handle up to 1200 watts. So that's pretty decent. You can run a pretty fairly large device probably up to an ironing box, for instance. This has a seven minute adjustable timer and a three to 2000 lumen sensor adjustment. So based on whatever brightness you want this to work on, you can actually set that. I've left a link in the description in case you plan to buy this product. So have a look at that. What I'm also going to do now is show you a small demo. I'm connecting a small light. The black wire and the live, live wire actually are the neutral and live lines which come in from the mains. The spot lamp that you see is connected to the red wire output and the neutral is directly connected to the spotlight from the mains. I'm going to darken this place a bit so that the sensor works. The device is now switched on and it and remember it does come in the first time you put it regardless of whatever setting you have. So that's normal to see it glow. Okay, I'm going to set up uh, I'm just going to see how it works when I away from it a bit. I'm sure the range is much better if it's mounted on the ceiling, but there you go, it just switches on, so it, it, it is detecting me. So what, what I'm going to do right now is do a small, nice lighting balcony project, balcony light project I should say. I'm going to take this old tin, which I found. Uh, I made a few holes in it in a particular pattern so that it looks like, you know, lights glowing in from that. I want to spray paint it to give it a little bit of a uh, decent look. Maybe silver on the inside and a little bit of matte black on the outside.
I used an old bulb holder that I fixed at the back. There's a lot of wiring to be done and once you figure out how this works, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to save time, I'm going to just going to show you how it looks once it's hung up. And you can see it's not perfect but it's good enough for a utility space. And the sensor is right on top, again I haven't fixed it to the ceiling, I've just mounted it on a hard wire. I did a little bit of test in the evening, that same evening when I built this thing and let's watch how it works. So that's the door. Yes, and it works brilliantly. I think, you know, these devices are really useful for you to actually automate some of your bathroom lights and uh, some of the other devices you want to work on in your parking lot, for example. This PIR switch costs about 500 odd. Uh, and you know this sensors added to any of these devices can work very well so much value they add to your DIY projects can go a long way in saving electricity with that I'd like to thank you all for watching this short review please do subscribe hit the like button if you like the video leave your comments down there if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them thank you so much for watching our take again and I'll see you on the next one